Dark times have fallen upon the world. Sin has corrupted the people of this land. And in their despair, they have sought refuge in profane beliefs and wicked deeds. Crusades and pilgrimages to sacred territories have done little to abate the spread of such vices. A brave cleric has returned from one such crusade to our home village of Sinwell. This village has been stricken by the plague, the Black Death, born from the sins of its people. If Sinwell is to be pulled back from the precipice of hell, this pestilence must be purged. Whatever the price may be, Lupo, you're still here. You got old, my friend. Oh. Are they not feeding you? Here, this is all that's left of my supper. <laughs> it would seem the rumors are true then. Disease has found Sinwell. Been a long journey back from the Holy Land. I longed eagerly for the day of my return, but this is not the home I once knew. I wonder if Master Ulrich is still here. Master Ulrich, it is good to see you again. Cecile, you've arrived not a moment too soon. Apologies, Master. The Holy Wars have left me worse for wear, and traveling no longer comes easily. How were you expecting me? I received word your campaign has ended. I anticipated your return would soon follow. We are blessed to have you back, Cecile, after all this time. I sense change in your eyes. You have learned much in your time away. I've learned to appreciate peace. I hoped to find it here, but... Word of the disease that plagues Sinwell reached me before I reached you. By now, you're well aware. It is not always in distant lands that our greatest enemies lurk. It is true. A grave malady afflicts Sinwell, and I fear more will be lost to it. But we will discuss further in the morning. I have arranged chambers for you. The night is dark, and you must rest. The people of Sinwell will need you. Though they may not yet know it. Rest well, and Cecile, I would ask you to focus on your duties. Don't waste time on that dog. This plague seems to weigh heavy on Master Ulrich, but I feel something greater troubles him. Heavens, a proper bed. I swear, I haven't slept in anything but cold, hard ground in months. what comes, seeker of serenity. Do what you believe. Do what you must.
Above all, question the path set before you. stranger than my usual dreams. The sun is out. Master Ulrich will be waiting. I'd best not keep him. have been unsettling of late. Be on guard. Dreams have often revealed many marvels to me, but the messenger was not always divine. Master Ulrich? I wish we had the time to talk of your experiences in the Crusade, Cecile. There is much I would like to know of your journey in the Holy Lands. But we must act on this plague with haste. Agreed. My stories can wait. What do you know of this plague? The Black Death does not only affect Sinwell. Surrounding settlements have suffered too. We must bring an end to this affliction for the sake of our townsfolk. We must stop it from spreading further. You have seen much on your pilgrimage, Cecile. You have witnessed firsthand the evil that sin has brought upon the world. It is sin that has brought this plague upon this village. And it is only by purging sin that your home can be saved. What would you have me do? You must free our people from the seven deadly sins. It is the only way. But... How would I even begin doing that? Not all may be willing to render confession, or even desire to repent. You are right. No. Sinwell is too far gone for the conventional ways to have any meaningful effect. Take this glass fragment. Repair the stained glass in our chapel window. I will explain why in due course. A werewolf. Fearsome creature. I remember seeing this as a child and recall it haunting several of my nightmares. Why would Master Ulrich need this repaired? I should return to him. The werewolf's icon graces our chapel once more. Though I am not sure how this helps us. Last night's festival revealed gluttony holds some of our people in a tight clutch. You saw plainly that Brom has imbibed far too much. I believe he depleted our last supply of the communion wine. You must set an example and defeat the demons within the center. You must enter his mind, Cecile, and cast out his sins. Enter his mind? How is that possible? There are secret mysteries and sacraments well beyond what even the wisest scholars are aware of. I will show you how to enter their minds, but beware. Anyone invading another's mind 
will appear as an hostile entity. The sinner's mind will see you only as a demon. That is why you asked me to repair the stained glass window? Precisely. In the villagers' minds, you will manifest as the monsters they see in our chapel stained glass. And they will fight back any way they can. How did it come to this, Master Ulrich? This village was once a sanctuary for good, faithful people. I grew complacent over the years, and all kinds of vices invited themselves here. We must excise these sins from our people, Cecile. The method may not be gentle, but it is necessary. Once you have cleansed the chapel grounds of all sinners, return to me. I understand. I will do what I can. Yes. 
of your own immortal soul, faithful Cecile. Is it worth surrendering to save those that are already damned? Those that are less deserving than you? I get here the entire ordeal felt like a nightmare I believe it so were it not for this strange fruit I found within Bronze mind what is it perhaps Master Ulrich will know more for my work is not done yet Master Ulrich mentioned more drunken revelers around the chapel grounds Sinwell. He's still but the boy. He couldn't understand what sin is to know when he is committing it. Yes, David's soul is pure. You need not enter his mind. He is sinless. But if you do enter, you may find it will aid your future endeavors.